everybody, Jay Mannion here at the NPC Photo Gym in Pittsburgh, PA, and I am here with IFBB Pro Figure Competitor, Jessica Reyes Padilla. I could never say it like that. So <laughs> They I, always say Padilla, but it's Padilla. There you go. I could get, I could get the Jessica part right. Yeah, and the Reyes. <laughs> so, Jessica is on her road to the Arnold. Arnold 2020. 2020. This is my fourth Arnold. How's oh it feel? God. Oh, amazing. I never thought, like, when I started like, doing this, that I was going to be in the Arnold. So, being, like, the for the fourth time, oh, oh my God, this is like a dream come true. So, what's going to what's gonna be different this year than the other years? <sighs> well, oh, my God. Like, when I first, like, did the Arnold. Wait, wait, wait. You're supposed to say I'm going to win it. <laughs> well, when I first did the Arnold... <laughs> Um, you, you don't go with no expectations because you're like so excited about just being there that you don't even like think of that. And then when you actually go there and you know that you have the chance like to be the champion, then you settle like a goal and every time you just go for it. So last year I got third place at the, at the Arnold. So this year I'm going for it. There you go. <laughs> it's it. That's the difference, right? Yes, that's the difference. I, it's the, the mindset and just focus on that first place in every single workout that you do, every single cardio, like everything that you do just to make that happen. So that's... Now, you, you told me an interesting fact before we started. The Arnold will be what number contest for you to compete in? Fourth. No, no, no. All, to, all together. Like all together, oh, this is going to be my 30th show in six years, less than six years being a pro. So, yes, I'm pretty excited. So we need to celebrate that. Yeah. 30. My 30. 30th show. My God. Hey, that's a lot. That's a lot. And let everybody know, when did you turn pro? I turned pro uh, 2015 at the Junior Nationals in Chicago. Yeah, so it's 2015 to 20, five years, there actually. You go. Oh my God, five years. Already. Already. It just flew by. Yeah, four Arnolds and four Olympias. I, my first Olympia, I did it in less than a year being a pro, so I'm being blessed. Yeah. Honestly, yeah. It's, it's been like a good journey. Now, when, when she turned pro, she had short, straight hair. Yes. I remember that. <laughs> See that? Yes, really short hair. So, um, and you had a lot of fun on the Sunday shoot. Always, I always have fun. Right. Every well, that was the first time I really knew you. But it yes, was, yeah. I remember like, oh, like he's been amazing since first day with me, and and it's been a blessing to have you in my life and in my journey in a, in the bodybuilding industry. So thank you so much for that. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> yeah, uh, Jessica and I were saying. She's, she's had some ups and downs in the sport, let's be honest, right? Yeah. There's been some times you've been really down on yourself. Oh, yes. Okay. Like, if I'm doing candid photos and I walk around a corner backstage and she's there by herself. <laughs> <laughs> and yes, and then it's always someone special, like, come to you to cheer you up and tell you to not give up, to keep going, and to... to just keep following your dreams and um, thanks to you like that day was a really hard time for me I really feel like so disappointed and you made me like realize so many things in that conversation that we had backstage well, well let's be honest she told me she was quitting yeah. and there was nothing I could say or do that was gonna talk her out of it oh yes so I was obviously like, I did I was disappointed <laughs> I was mad with myself I was like I'm, I'm done I'm done I'm done but then, like, he got a moment with me. We have a really good conversation about everything. And it's like he says, like you said, it's like we always have up and downs. And, but what makes you really stronger and a winner is just to not give up and keep going no matter what. So here I am still. And, and look what happened. Look what happened. <laughs> yes. Right? Yes. Oh, my God. Yeah. Like, I would, I would regret it, like, if, if I decide that in that moment. But... That knows everything. So right now, another another interesting fact is um, I play this game with the pro figure competitors. They they come into yeah. the gym here, and we have a certain poster up there that I quiz them on. 
Okay. Yes. <laughs> it, it's almost like, you know, like Monopoly, do not pass, go, do not collect $200. Uh, but it, it was interesting, the one thing you told me, which I did not realize, even in all this time, is that you were the first born and raised and trained in Puerto Rico and being a IFBB pro and winning shows and going to the Olympia and everything. So that's, yes. that's really huge. Yeah. And even like, uh, you know, in the Arnold, when I won the Arnold Australia, that made me become like the first um, Puerto Rican, you know? And um, that is why I have like so much support about my Latin people and they like truly believe that they could have a champion, uh, a Latina champion. So right. that motivate me even more. Right. And I know um, the last couple of years you had some different hardships with all this, the things that happened, the uh, hurricanes and different things down on the island. And, yeah. Uh, I remember you telling me at one point, like, you didn't have electricity for, like, three months or yeah, something, right? Yeah, electricity, nothing. So I had to go walk into the grocery store, like, to buy, like, what I was going to eat that day because you didn't have no electricity, no fridge, no anything. So you couldn't, like, save, like, food. So every time you need, like, I had to go to the grocery store do like a two hours line to get like your groceries to then come back home, like cook and things like that. So it was like pretty hard time. But I still like did, did two shows. I did the Mel Chancy and I did like the San Marino Pro Show mm -hmm. and I get I got second in both of, a, of them, so. Right, so you went through all that adversity. Yes. Yeah, I remember you telling me and, and uh, telling all of us, we're like, I mean, you see bits and pieces on the news, but you don't understand how it really is down there. No, like people doesn't even realize it was like even like harder than like the news said. And right. you really need to be there and live it like day by day to know how hard it was. Right. And right now, like with the earthquake, it's like kind of similar. So it's, it's been really rough for the Iceland. But right you now. have now relocated. Yes, I'm in Austin, Texas right now. Uh, I decided to do that because of my prep um, to the Olympia last year. So When did you move exactly? Um, I moved out in summer. I moved out in summer, so it's been amazing for me. It's a challenge because I start from scratch. I let everything behind, which is my family that I miss so much. And um, they were like supporting me a lot and not having them is like ugh, heartbreaking. But um, they, they're they happy for me because I'm doing like, really, really good and, and I have like a lot of different things here like makes me like improve and do better. So um, they're happy for me. All right, so you're down there with your coach, right? Mm -hmm. Tell people who your coach is. Yeah, well, Andrew Vu, like I call my sensei, he called me ninja. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why people, I don't know why. Well, um, well that means you're a badass. <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> he he's in Dallas. So now that I'm in Austin, like I could see him like more often because when I started with him, I was like all the way in Puerto Rico. So everything that we did together was by pictures and videos. That it was kind of like hard because it's not the same to have your coach, you know, right. close to you, so he could see you in person because you cannot see like all the details by pictures or videos. It's not the same. Right. So right. Um, now that I have in, that is, I think that that is why I make some so much improvements. So it's really good. He got the eye. He's a really nice human being, not just as a coach. Like he's for me, like he's been amazing. Yeah. Now something else I want people to know, and she's gonna get really mad <laughs> oh when God. I say this, because they have no, no one knows what I'm gonna ask them when we're here. Okay. <laughs> All right, so Jessica, how many pro shows have you won? Um, like, I think that's six. Okay, six. right? Six. Okay, and you're not the 20-year-old competitor. No, I'm not. Right? I know where you're coming from. I how, know. Tell everybody how old you are. <clears throat> Be honest, because I know. <laughs> <laughs> I can proudly say that I'm 42 years old with a 22 years old son. And she is kicking butt on the pro stage. <laughs> yeah. You told me that last year. Like, um, I was like looking for feedbacks for the Olympia and we were at the gala 
and eating and I came to, to him because I always ask you your feedback. And um, he was like, you know what? You need to feel proud of yourself because you're kicking asses and you are a mother of a 22 years old son. So that's a lot to say. Right. So he made me feel so much better about that that I grab another dessert and <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, like I'm proud and wow, well, like he motivates me so much. And right, and so the, but backing that up, that means she didn't turn prone till her mid thirties. Yes. Right. Yes. So age is just a number. Just a number. It's about. I think that when you really want something, you work for it. Like, if you don't really want it, like, you're going to make excuses. Excuses that you're a mother, that you're too busy, that you have a full-time job, that uh, you are too old to start. I started when I was, like, 35. And I have been doing all of this in five years. Yeah, but, but initially, you didn't want everyone to know. But I'm like, why not? Yeah. I'm proud Look of it. Yes. <laughs> yes. You see, she side eyed me, she she me real my quick mind. there. <laughs> yeah, he always made me change my mind. That is why I love to be close to this guy right here. <laughs> that is true. It is true. Yeah. So yeah, like when, like sometimes like people like get get to me and tells me like how amazing I have been doing and oh my god, you don't even know like have you have done. Because you don't think of it. And then right. when you sit down and you realize, you're like, oh my God, that's why my, my coach called me Ninja. Now, now I know. Right. Because there's like people that they have been competing for five, 10 years and they don't get her, their pro cards or they turn pro, but then they don't do anything else. And, and I have been like doing amazing year by year, improving and, and doing better and better all the time. Well, the other, the other thing that is, another interesting note is she was not the overall champion at the junior nationals no I wasn't right and look where you are now yes and even like where is that who actually won the overall that year she's in Austin too and we train at the same gym now how amazing can that be right so she see me like what I have been doing and it's like, girl, like, I cannot believe because she just, like, stopped, you know, like, right. doing it. And, like, now, like, she's seeing me that we turned pro the same year at the same show. She got the overall, and I just, like, keep it consistent and keep, like, competing and look who I am right now. Right. Yeah, so that, that's another thing is you don't always have to. You don't have to win an overall to be successful. Once you qualify for the IFBB Professional League, it's kind of what you do with it, right? Yeah. And the thing is, like, getting back, like, to the Canada show that I was, like, thinking about quitting, it was because... Well, what was year, it, was, it was the that, Toronto Pro Super Show. Like, just throw it out <laughs> That there. year, that year, actually didn't want a show. I got second all the time. And, and I qualified to the Olympia by points. And um, somebody told me, oh, no, you need to keep competing because they're going to even look at you because if you go by points, you need to win a pro show. I'm like, okay, so just sit down and watch me. And I got, my, I got four plays that year. Right. Without not even winning a pro show, qualifying just by points. Hmm. Hmm. I remember somebody's kind of saying that yes. on stage somewhere. Oh, yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. I, I cannot, hmm. I don't remember hmm. who that I'm not, I'm quitting, I'm not even going to the Olympia, <laughs> I didn't win a contest. So yes, yes, so people. Listen, as one parent to another, I let you, I let you get it out of your system. <laughs> oh yeah, <laughs> I needed it, I needed it, I, I really honestly needed it that time. Like, I was like, actually I was like talking to him, like eating like, I think that it was like pizza or a cookie or something yeah. like that, that made me feel like better too. Yeah. <laughs> he always catch me eating all well, that's the always time. good for the pictures but all the time for the pictures then you were like by the way <laughs> yes yes then you know I think that it's like well, wait said, wait what happened last year though at the Olympia yeah. we got I got for place I got oh. for place and um but you but you won contests you, yes, yeah. and I won. I won. Oh my God! Yeah, it was like my best year ever. Right. Yeah. Going from 
I think that I'm not going to do anything anymore. Exactly. Like that year, I started with the Arnold, Ohio, and I got third place. Then I went to Arnold, Australia. Uh, Australia. I won the Arnold, Australia people. Oh, my God. I was like, so excited about that. Right. And then I went to, uh, to New York Pro. I won New York Pro, and then I won next weekend to Puerto Rico Pro Show, and I also won the Puerto Rico Pro Show. So it was like a really good year. And then Olympia, fourth place. Right, but... The previous, the previous June, you were gonna, you were just gonna throw it all out the window. I was not gonna do anything. I, I would miss like like Olympia twice, fourth place twice, yeah. and the Arnold Australia plus the Arnold Ohio New York. And all those, all those, all those, 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 those right? Shows. Yeah. Honestly, yes. So you can have a hissy fit and continue. Yeah. Well, yeah, we're human, and sometimes that we, true, we forgot. Right? We forgot that that's normal, that sometimes you feel that way, and, and that you cannot be strong all the time, that you need sometimes like to deal with, with your emotions and get through it and just push yourself through it and make it happen. Yeah, uh, and, and, I, and I even said to you, I said, I didn't think it was by chance that I came upon you backstage like that. Yeah. Because uh, I truly believe if I had not talked to her, she would have quit. Yes. At that moment, yeah, I really need someone like to just... Listen, also. Listen to me. I let her get it all out. Like for 45 minutes. <laughs> But he was there like all the time, listen to me. And then just with a few words after that, he changed my mind completely. So it didn't take that long for him like to change my mind. Yeah, but you, but you needed to get it out of your yes. system. You really did. I think that, and then like those. But like you said, that's human. It's human nature. It's human it nature. Is. It is. So people, it's normal that you feel like struggling, that when you're struggling that you want to give up. But if it's actually something that you really want to do in your life, just give yourself a chance and, and just be consistent and don't give up. This is like one of my hashtags that I always like post on my social media, never give them up, because that was a lesson for me. And um, when you don't quit, actually that makes you a champion. Like when you keep going, no matter what happened to you, the circumstances, because that's normal. That's something that is gonna happen no matter what, because there's some things that you cannot control. So you need to push through it, and that is gonna like even make you stronger. Yeah. That's how I feel right now. Good, good. <laughs> All right, so besides Andrew, is there anybody else you want to give a shout out to or you know, throw a Oh my God, like I this have- to or whatever. Yes, I want to thank like to all my sponsors. Can I say everything? Absolutely, yeah. go for it. Well, all that glitter jams, like that girl like matched my jewels with my suits like in a perfect way. I love her to death. I got um, Get Flawless that is gonna be in charge of my makeup and my hair. So they're like amazing. My tanning sponsor, Liquid Sunrays, that's the best tanning ever. I love them to death too. Like they're amazing. CJ's, like she's gonna like do my, my, my suit, like the one that I wear like for the Olympia too. So House of Gains, that is like the place that I'm working. And also that I'm doing my prep. I want to like, thank, obviously, my Jonathan Arthur. Like, he's been my supporter, my spotter, my best friend, my everything. So thank you so much. Besos, abrazos en español. And, of course, my, my family, because without them, like, I couldn't make it. And, of course, God. I think that, like, one of the things that sometimes, like, they ask me, what you changed from 2018 to 2019 that makes you like win all the shows and it was like the confidence the mindset and just to give up on myself and to and put my life and everything that i do in god's hands so he take care of everything and people when you actually believe and you let him be in control of your life he will open doors for you that nobody's gonna close so just you need to believe and keep focus and just do good and be good all right. Well, that sounds like a good place to wrap this up. Oh, yes. So this is J.M. Mannion. Jessica Reyes Padilla. And we will see you in Columbus. Signing out for NPCNewsOnline.com. 
Hi everybody, if you want to know more about me and my journey as a figure competitor, you must access to my social media, Instagram is Jessica underscore Reyes underscore Padilla, Facebook Jessica Reyes Padilla, and Twitter Jess Lex one Thank you so much everybody for all the support that you have been giving me on the social media. Muchos besos, abrazos, se les quiere.